cost uh, professional and outsource staff. I think if there's one thing that has come out of this whole um, lockdown period and the fact that digital is the way forward is the fact that we do not need the same complements of staff to take us to where we're going. It's also shown that non-essential service, particularly from the outsource staff, may not be at the levels that may be required during the future. So we probably don't need as many security men as required, even to the fact that we're not going to have um, all our branches open between now and December. We certainly don't need all the security men. We don't need all the tea girls. We don't need all the cleaners. We don't need all the tellers, et cetera, et cetera. So that number of staff, which represents 75% of our staff strength, I think is one that we need to basically speak with their employers with a view to getting them all right, to rationalize to the levels that we think will be necessary to basically sustain a mean but actually uh, 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 customer service oriented institution. So we are going to be looking at that. And as I speak to you today, um, there are several discussions that will go on with a view to making sure that we rationalize and bring those numbers to what are acceptable numbers for institution given the days ahead that we see. The second has to do with our professional costs. Now, that is one that is very tricky. And it's tricky because I do understand and appreciate the fact that it's going to you know, bring its own pain to staff. We basically have to make the adjustments the same way you sounded uh, when we spoke 10 days ago with respect to basically cutting down costs. I will be the first to take the heat and I'm going to take the largest pay cut, which will be as much as 40%. The rest shall have to cascade right through the institution. Everybody may have to make some adjustments of some sort. Let me quickly say that it's not the best of times. We understand the difficulty people are going through, but we also understand the higher calling of creating an institution that can continue to provide for us. And the fact that tomorrow when things do improve, we shall revert to what is normal. But what is important is those adjustments are required at a time where we see Armageddon or where we see great difficulty coming in to make sure that if there is one institution left standing in this country as a bank, it must be access. So that's the decision that we've had to take. Now, please don't get me wrong. We know it is a difficult decision. We appreciate the fact that it's going to hurt people, but we necessarily have to make that adjustment to ensure that we protect and protect our franchise and, and make us stronger as we move on into the future. I do know that there'll be a lot of questions. I've been speaking all day to different segments of people and uh, trying to ensure that we do have appropriate buying. But I think, like I've always said, 